I'm at my boyfriend's house and his dog keeps freaking walking around behind. She's pissing me off. Like, she was sitting down fine until I hit record. Okay, so basically this is my brow. What I like to do with my brows is I like to comb it out. Guys, that's that starts footsteps. My boyfriend's dog. She's being right here now. Now you can use a pencil or a brow pomade, whichever you have. I'm using my brow pomade today. So I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. So I'm actually gonna take some of the product and put it on the back of my hand. When I put the product on the back of my hand, it warms up the product so it doesn't get stiff. Now once my brow is already brushed out, I'm gonna dip my hand in the product. I'm using an angled brush. I'm gonna dip it in the product and kind of wipe off the excess. And then I'm gonna start filling in my brows. And first I fill under, I underline the bottom. I get some more product on my brush. I do the same thing, I remove the excess on the back of my hand. And now I'm gonna start filling in the brow slowly. So you can do it this way, but I just like to almost push the product up into my brow. I like my brows to look very full and really dramatic. And I just find this fills in the brow great. Now when I get towards the end is when I'll start lining the top of my brow, so I'll start lining it like this. And the good thing about this part is if you mess up, it's fine because we're gonna go in with concealer to clean it up anyways. So I pretty much filled in my brow. Now I'm gonna take my spoolie and pull this area out. So in doing this, it fades it out, but it also removes some of the excess product. And I don't like the front of my brows to look too heavy. This dog just stepped on my friggin' bed. And I'm gonna just continue doing this until I've gotten my brow to my liking. So I like mine kind of like that, almost faded out. And then I'll brush the hairs that I have there upwards so it looks a little fuller. You can also take your brush or pencil and in light strokes create hair like strokes at the front of your brow if you like to do that. I don't really care to do that, but you can do it if you want to. Okay, so the base of or the full amount of or <laughs> so my brow is now filled in. Now I'm going to start cleaning it up. I'm actually going to just fill in the other brow just because I don't want to be lopsided. Shut up! Okay, so I just filled in the other brow just for not, just for whatever sake. So I'm going to do my makeup after this anyways. So now I'm taking some concealer. Any concealer you have, guys. I like to take um, a concealer that's a shade lighter than myself. Some people like to go two shades lighter. It's up to you. Um, I just prefer one shade lighter because it still looks very natural when I clean up underneath the brow. So I'm going to start by following along the brow and using a flat concealer brush. Now I'm gonna fill or conceal the top of my brow. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Sorry guys, I had to stand that ass upstairs. She was making so much noise. She was being so annoying. My gosh. I love her to death, but like, when she wants her attention, oh my god. <clears throat> As I was saying, now I'm gonna conceal the top of my brows. I would suggest using a concealer either the same shade as you or one a shade lighter. You don't want to go too light when you're concealing above your brows because then you're going to look like you got high beam eyebrows, like your eyebrows are on like full beam. You don't want to look like that. But you'll see what I'm talking about afterwards. I'm using a, con a, con <laughs> I'm using a concealer that is one shade lighter so when I'm finished you'll see how mine look. And 
And as I apply it, I'm blending it out. But you already see how clean it's making my brow look. Okay, and that's what I get. But now if the concealer was two shades lighter, that would have looked, like I said, like full beam eyebrows. Now the concealing, I think, would be the most important part because if you fill in your brows and you make a mistake, you can always clean it up with the concealer and that's why I really enjoy using the concealer step because you can clean up your brows and essentially almost even change the shape to what you really like. Mine looked a little messy in the beginning and now it looks snatched honey. So I'm going to finish the other brow and then I'm going to jump into my makeup tutorial for you guys. So that's pretty much my updated eyebrow tutorial. That's what I do now. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And check out my next video. I'm going to finish this look and that's going to be my makeup tutorial. Bye!